Hello, my name is Levent Deyertekin. I'm a professor in George W. Woodruff School of Mechanical Engineering at Georgia Tech. My primary research area is in microscale and nanoscale engineering. I also work in the area of bioengineering. I develop sensors and systems for medical applications, ranging from medical imaging, hearing aids, to remote health monitoring. In one of our projects, we are developing imaging systems to see inside the heart. But we want to do it without exposure to x-rays, which is dangerous to children especially, and also the doctors who are doing the operation. In one other project, we are developing remote wireless health monitoring systems, so that, for example, you can check the healing process of a bone fracture, especially in children and elderly. Yet another project, we work on developing microphones for hearing aids, so that people can hear better in noisy environments. We are also working on remote wireless monitoring of one's health, for example, healing from bone fracture without a visit to doctors. That will reduce the cost of healthcare, for example. We are able to miniaturize these imaging systems with our interdisciplinary engineering approach so that many functionalities can be integrated in a very small volume. In one case, it enables an imaging device that would fit into a child's heart. In another case, it enables an implantable device that can be put on a healing bone fracture. In my lab, we have a full range of activities for students. We start with basic modeling of devices, build them into a system, combine mechanical and electrical engineering, then add biomedical engineering to make devices and systems, and then actually we include medical doctors to do animal studies for us. I bring my research into classroom by showing the students how some of the simple assumptions we make start to fail when you start dealing with realistic problems. We see those when we start diving deep into research or when doing product design in an industrial environment. I was always interested in waves like the ones that you see in the ocean, and then I wanted to make useful devices which led me to engineering. My move into cardiology is mostly due to my brother, who's an interventional cardiologist and my pre-consultant. I had the chance to work with Calvin Quaid one of the inventors of the atomic force microscope, a very important tool for nanotechnology. He was 80 years old when we interacted, but his mind was very sharp, and his openness and ethical behavior motivated everyone around him. After that point, he really set the standard for me. One thing that, that I really like about Georgia Tech is the interdisciplinary environment without boundaries and the infrastructure to support that research. One of my favorite memories at Georgia Tech is the time that I wanted to try an interesting idea experimentally. I mentioned that to two material science PhD students in the morning. Actually, in the afternoon, they came back and they said they got the idea. And by 3 a.m. in the morning, they had made the first device using a multi-million dollar equipment that they were learning that day. And I was actually awake to get their email. So that shows that Georgia Tech has good people, motivated people, interdisciplinary research environment, and also the infrastructure to build whatever you can.